Hi guys, so time for a new scroller box. Um, this is the August box from 2017, so quite a bit late for me. I have a pile, just, um, yeah, a lot of um, scroller boxes piling up since I've uh, had a break for some time. And I'm not taking them in any particular order other than what I just feel like doing and what I feel inspired by. And I, quite, I was quite excited when I saw the content of this box. And now I finally got around to testing it out. So let me go through the materials. So we have this ISO sketch um, ruler here at these quite fun angles. Um, then we have a Derwent shaped eraser. Then we got this uh, very nice mechanical pencil from Derwent as well. And it actually came with three little um, refills for the eraser, which is great because I always um, use the eraser up quite um, fast. And then it also came with some refills. Then uh, we got, as per usual, a fine liner. This time it's from Stabilo and it's a 0 0.5 one. So to me, that's quite a nice uh, thickness. And it looks like this in black. Then last but not least, we got the thing that I'm most excited about and it's alcohol markers. And we got two from Spectrum Noir and I got the colors pink lace and smoky blue so quite pastel colors and I think they go beautifully together so I was very excited about trying out these two and they have a bullet nip and a brush nip so a very nice combination and the it also included some paper, but that's not included on the material sheet. So, um, but it just looks like normal Bristol paper. And then it had uh, this nice piece of art um, by Rob Turpin. So, and this may give a clue to the topic of this box, which is awesome. And it's imagination palettes, which I think, yeah. Um, it's very inspiring. So let me just show you what I did with this box. So um, before I review the art supplies included in this box, I just want to start by um, praising Scrollerbox. Not sponsored by the way. Um, but this box um, I didn't receive this box and I had to contact um, Scrollerbox's uh, customer service and I was just, I was anticipating that, you know, I'd, I would just be told that there was nothing to do and it was my own fault maybe um, because I recently moved and I did um, enter my new address uh, onto my profile well in advance but you know, who knows, but uh, I got an answer to my mail on the same day apologizing for the box not arriving and that they would send the box the same day. So yeah, just wanted to um, let you know. So moving on to the art supplies, um, first of all, um, the markers. I always love trying new alcohol markers. As you probably know, I use Copics, so I'm quite fond of alcohol markers. And these markers had um, a brush nib, which is very nice. And um, it also lived up to my expectations. It was very nice, flexible. And um, then it also at the other end, instead of the usual chisel tip that you see with a lot of different um, other brands of markers, for example, Copics, it had a fine 
nib, um, which I just love. So you can use that for the finer details. And I actually keep uh, kept forgetting that it was even there when I did my, my piece, because I'm not used to that. But it's very nice to have that. Very nice um, colors. I don't know if everyone got the same colors, but um, this baby blue and baby pink, they go really well together, I think. Um, the blue, to me, looks more greenish, blue-green, um, on the paper. That might just be the paper I used. Um, I don't know. And I chose to use my own uh, Bristol board paper. I know that's probably considered cheating, but yeah, I just wanted a bigger size of paper to work on. So I decided that that was okay for me. Uh, the main part for me is to have fun and be challenged with these uh, new supplies. And I definitely uh, felt that I was challenged. Um, yeah, and the markers, um, very nice to hold. Uh, one thing is that uh, the caps on one of the markers were quite difficult to pull off, uh, pull off. And also they have quite an annoying shape, which means that it's, um, they're annoying to put, uh, put on again um, because it has to fit completely and that's, yeah. But that's a minor thing. I quite like them. Um, so uh, also the mechanical pencil. I really like that one. Uh, it's quite heavy, which is something that I prefer and seems to be very good quality. And also it came with both um, lead and eraser refills. And I always kind of um, use up these erasers. So that's very nice to have someone specifically for this pencil. So the ruler, I think, has a very interesting shape. It has very atypical um, angles and also include these uh, oval shapes. Um, so I think that makes it very versatile compared to a normal ru ruler and, um, and it can be used as a normal ruler. Um, and it has a very nice length, so it's quite short. Um, and my other ruler, normal ruler, I, I why can't I <laughs> say that word today? My normal ruler um, is much longer and it's nice to have a shorter one as well. Um, I didn't use those different angles it has, um, but I think they might came, come in handy later on. The eraser included uh, is very good, I think. Um, what was it from? It was from Derwent. And uh, it has a very nice shape to it. Um, it's a, it has a comfortable grip and seems to be very nice quality. So all in all, I really like this scroller box. Uh, it's one of my favorites so far, I'll say. Um, and I think the, I really like the topic, Imagination Palace. Um, and it, it went well with the um, art supplies included also, I think. So, yeah. Um, oh yeah, I forgot the fine liner. Um, very nice, uh, point 0.4. Uh, so quite thin and yeah, worked as any standard fine liner, I'd say. And I have used it since then um, to clean up my sketches in my sketchbook. So, yeah, I think that's all for this um, month's scroller box. So, see you hopefully later for a new scroller, scroller box video. Bye.